My second short film, Pick Up Arby's, came out a few weeks ago, and I'm beyond proud of how it came out, even though it took me way, way longer than I expected. And to be honest, it was almost kind of a disaster in kind of like the production. And in this video, I'm gonna be going full in depth of like what happened and just like the struggles of just filmmaking and making a short film. And I'm sure like if you're a filmmaker or content creator, you can relate with some of the stuff and it could be really frustrating at times. As anything with making like a film or a big project, you know, nothing really goes smoothly. And you know, that's all right to have like challenges and stuff. Um, but in this video, I just want to talk about basically what happened, um, some life changes and how this kind of like affected my whole filmmaking stuff down the line. Uh, but if you are new, my name is Nick Perrin. I'm a filmmaker, I'm a content creator and YouTuber. I make short films and feature films on this channel. Uh, and also love to talk about filmmaking, YouTube, and movies, anything that really comes to mind. So if that interests you, make sure to hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this. Now, it's kind of interesting because Pick Up at Arby's, I wrote it right after I finished my uh, first one, The Weekend. Actually, even before it came out, I wrote Pick Up at Arby's. And looking back on it, it was completely different than how it turned out. Just because I had so many different ideas with it. There was so much that just, just got shifted around and stuff. But it's interesting because I I make all my movies, like I write them like months in advance before I even start like doing any sort of production for them. Like when I finished the first one, The Weeknd, I already had plans to make the next one even before it came out. So uh, for Pick Up at Arby's, I had more ideas, more stuff, and b like b basically a bigger project uh, that I wanted to tackle. And I was hoping this one would be over 20 minutes. And you know, like I said before, I don't really care about like the length of a movie, but I just wanted to make this one longer and like, you know, better than obviously the last one I want to keep improving. But of course, like a lot went wrong with making Pick Up the Arby's. And I had this rolled out in October and I was planning on getting this out in February, but it didn't come out till June. So it was a little bit disappointing to have that come out so late, but like I said before, I'm proud of how the movie came out. I think it's my best one yet, and I'm looking forward to my future ones, and I think it's been a big learning curve in kind of like my whole life so far. But I just want to talk about three main things that kind of just went on uh, throughout this production that really like affected how, how this film came out and kind of like how, how quickly it got done. I think the number one reason why like, you know, there was so many like, production issues and like backtracking and stuff. It's just because, you know, friends and actors dropped out. And obviously, you know, my friends, they, they do an amazing job. I'm so proud of them. I'm really grateful that they're able to be in this movie and that they're helping me out. And I'm really grateful for their time, their effort. Some of them live like, you know, 40 minutes away or an hour away. So I really appreciate the time that they take. So one of my friends uh, actually works at an Arby's and this is how the whole idea for Pick Up Arby's came about. I was gonna have my friend at Arby's try to get us in and the whole movie was gonna take place in Arby's. And this, this movie has had so many different drafts. It's been changed so much. Um, but like the whole thing had to change because he dropped out obviously last minute. And we were just kind of like, oh shit, now we gotta kind of change the whole thing. Luckily we're, we worked right around it. It was still a similar story. It still had to do with the Uber Eats thing, but we didn't have that location. The main reason why I wanted him is so that we can film at Arby's since he worked at Arby's and that we were able to use that location like for the whole thing, for the whole movie and that we were able to get like, you know, the kitchen scenes or like, you know, the whole like rent out basically the whole place for the film, which would have been awesome. But we got a few clips at Arby's and it still worked out all right. But it really was disappointing having him drop out, you know, last minute basically. And there was this one scene for a basketball scene, basically two friends talking. And it was interesting because if you see the film now, this is the scene where uh, Evan is talking to his buddy on Fortnite uh, through like a Zoom call or a Discord call. This scene changed like so much. This scene changed like, like over a hundred times just because it started out like as a conversation in Arby's, like in a, like in a dinner table. Then it just went to this basketball scene with two other friends. And I had a few friends lined up and a few people who were willing to be in it. Um, un unfortunately, like 
those people dropped out or they, they couldn't make it. The dates just didn't align and that scene just took forever to plan out just because it kept changing. And then eventually I was just like, fuck it, let's just do a Zoom call with like someone I know online because I have a lot of like un online buddies and filmmaker friends and my editor, shout out to Evan, uh, you did a great job. He actually played the role of the gamer friend in Pick Up Arby's. So I really appreciate your time, Evan, for uh, helping uh, for helping us with the project. It's not like disappointing by any means to have like friends drop out. I, obviously I know like from example, like, you know, people have lives, people aren't, you know, dedicated to this. They're, they're not on my payroll, of course. Um, but you know, when someone says they're gonna do something, I really hope that they follow through and sometimes they don't, which is, you know, all right. Uh, you know, things happen with their lives. Maybe they change their mind. Maybe they just don't want to be in the movie. You know, they don't want to act, which obviously they don't, they don't have to. If they want to help out, that's awesome. If not, that's that's all right too. You know, I'll find other people. I'll find other actors and friends to help out. Um, it just gets a little bit uh, frustrating when, you know, one person drops out of another and another person, another person, and things get fall behind. And for Pick Up Arby's, I had no really release date for this. I just wanted to get it out as soon as possible. Like I said, I wanted to get it out in February just because I had more ideas to make short films and I was, you know, trying to do other stuff, uh, obviously with content with the, for the channel, which I'll talk about later on in this video. And also one major thing, we had like switch like actors roles just because of the schedule wise. And it's funny because Abdil in Pick Up Arby's who plays the mafia boss at the end scene of the film, he was actually going to be playing Michael, the guy who was after him the whole movie, and Rabia, the guy who plays Michael, chasing him, shooting him down, that was supposed to be the mafia guy. So we had to swap the roles just because, you know, uh, Abdil, my, my good friend, he has like a crazy work schedule and stuff, and Rabia was uh, really into it, and I was trying to get him down here. Um, because obviously he lives 40 minutes away. We already had footage shot of Abdil playing Michael. We had to cut those scenes and like basically reshoot them just because we swapped the roles just because it wouldn't have worked either way. I think uh, some scenes that we did shoot in like January and February, some scenes turned out pretty good, but some scenes just didn't turn out all right. And you know, as much as I wanna like keep like, you know, using the same footage that we shoot, uh, some days like, I, we get really good stuff and I'm really proud of it, but like we still get good stuff on the bad days, but I just want to make it better. I want to make it as best as possible. And you know, some scenes like, uh, for example, like there's a scene back here and it wouldn't have worked either way because this was supposed to be like the mafia place or whatever. And it wouldn't have worked either way because this is the same place that Evan is in when he's looking at the money, talking with his friend on Discord and stuff. So I'm like, yeah, we can't make this work. It's the same location. And we try to shoot different stuff in the same house, obviously. Uh, like for example, the garage is the mafia scene. But anyways, like basically we had to sh reshoot some stuff. We had to swap other people's roles. So the whole thing with the casting and stuff, uh, you know, obviously was a big struggle on its own and just like the casting, getting friends involved. Evan has been in, like the main character in all my movies so far and I really appreciate his time and he's always been dedicated, he's always been uh, you know, committed to the role and he's never let me down so I really appreciate you and I really appreciate everyone that's been part of this project and pick up at Arby's. A second thing that I want to talk about is life changes. So for me, uh, there's been a lot of life changes that happened throughout the production of Pick Up at Arby's. Uh, for one, I went through three different jobs, you know, not to get too personal and like to like uh, give out too much information about the jobs itself. But, you know, there was one job that I did work at where I was working like 50 hours a week, uh, you know, down, down in the big city. And it was a big job and it did take a lot of energy and stuff. And learning the jobs and getting used to like a new routine, like for one, I had to like get up at 2 a.m and you know, go to bed at 7 p.m. Uh, those types of jobs were really like, it was a big struggle, you know, editing pickup of Arby's, like, you know, uh, shooting pickup of Arby's on like the very few days that I had off and just kind of like making content in the meantime. It was a big challenge, but I'm surprised I went through it. And luckily right now I have a really good job uh, schedule wise and I'm really excited about this new opportunity that I'm, I'm doing right now. Like I said before, I'm not gonna give too much details out. I'm really happy that I have a new job 
uh, that's way better fit it for me. And of course, plus family and friends have uh, obligations and a lot of family changes. Like I said before, I'm not gonna get too personal, but uh, you know, if someone moves, for example, if someone like has like lost someone in the family, you know, obviously life gets in the way of stuff and that's perfectly all right, you know. Uh, film comes last compared to family, friends, and life in general. Um, but those are major things that like, you know, take time away. But it was nothing major. Like, of, of course, like my life changes compared to their life changes. I mean, it's still like significant. Like, for example, I mean, I guess I'll give this away. My grandmother moved, so we had to like move all of her stuff into like a new place. Um, that was one major thing and one major task that all the family had to help out and, you know, going to the condo, going to whatever, moving stuff. And that's been a big project for us. And doing like little projects around the house, obviously, like, you know, fixing uh, the, the yard, fixing the door, whatever. And of course, I can't forget about my friends' lives. Obviously, like, you know, if they get sick, if they have family obligations, like I said before, they're not on my payroll. So it's like, you know, we also have to have time to hang out outside of like making content. We can't always be like running around making content, making short films. As much as I want to, I know they just don't want to make content all the time. And I have to realize that and just like, hey, can we just like hang out, you know? I, I gotta be more flexible with like how I approach the film. And you know, obviously these films right now that I'm making are with my friends and we're just trying to have a good time with it. So I don't wanna be too like, dictating and like kind of like more strict with it. I want to really have this like laid back feel with everything that I do and I don't want to put anyone under the gun or any under pressure. And that aside, they also had like, you know, obviously like I said before, they got sick a lot of times, they had COVID, uh, stuff like that. Days we were great to shoot, shoot on. The morning, like this happened like five times. They got COVID like the morning and, they're, and we had it all planned out, like the big scenes with like the shootouts, the whatever, and then we just didn't have, we just couldn't make it that day. Like the shootout scene for pickup Arby's when Evan is dropping off the package at the door. We try to make that uh, like 10 different days and we just couldn't just because either someone was out of town, someone was sick, and it's it was getting to the point where it was like funny, but not really. <laughs> just because it just kept happening, happening every Sunday, every Saturday. Uh, someone's sick, someone's whatever, but eventually we got we got it done and it came out amazing. I'm really proud of that scene and it came out basically one of the best scenes in the film. And most important reason why this film took so, so long is because I didn't even think about it till like, you know, like a month ago, but I was making like literally so much other content besides this film. Not only I was making two videos per week while working like 50 hours a week, I was, you know, editing it, I was doing all the stuff myself even before I had help. I made two other completely random short films called Yo What's Up Guys and The Sprinkler, which both turned out really, really great. But thinking about that, I'm not even done yet, but thinking about just making two other short films while making this short film, it's like, I basically made three in this whole time period, but I didn't even realize that just because I made those kind of on a whim. And this one has just been a big project on the back burner. And then the last point is just, I made three different drafts for feature films one in the sunshine state which is my next project and two others that are coming out like probably next year or whatever but i literally wrote like three different short like three different not shorts three different feature films in this whole time period so I, i'm like i'm like looking back on it i'm like no wonder this took so long i made so much other content i've been like creating all this other stuff of course this one took like six months of course pickup arby's took so much longer just because i wasn't focused on one particular project at a time, I was so all over the place. I was making videos, I was doing, I was writing short films, I was making two other completely different short films. I was writing my feature, I was doing whatever. I was, you know, having so many projects around the house. And like I said before, life gets in the way and, you know, doing so much other work on top of that, that's, that's kind of crazy. And having that realization like last month, I was like, holy shit, I did like do a lot. And it's kind of weird because I couldn't just stay focused on one thing at a time. I think one reason why is because, you know, like I said before, if a friend got sick uh, on a Sunday and we couldn't shoot, I, I can't sleep, I can't rest. Uh, I, I need to be always creating. I, I don't, you know, I don't relax. I need to always be making videos, writing, whatever, uh, improving stuff or doing projects around the house. I don't sleep. <laughs> 
I, I think it's good to focus on one particular project at a time and instead of like all over the place. And that's something I need to work on. I need to work on just being more focused on one project at a time. And you know, I had this conversation with someone yesterday and just, we can't just be all over the place with everything because you know, of course I get frustrated. I get stressed out when, you know, we have like a hundred different tasks per day, including work, including chores, including projects around the house, including work, including YouTube. Everything can't be, we need to be more focused on what we do. Less less quantity, more quality is what I like to say. But I'm, I'm really excited that my next uh, project, The Sunshine State, is uh, one major movie that I'm really excited to make. I'm gonna go full in focus on that. I'm already starting to shoot it, I'm already starting to edit it, and I'm really excited of how it's gonna turn out. And with that being said, you can follow me on Instagram if you wanna see more updates and more content uh, for my feature films, for my short films, and for just basically YouTube overall. I really appreciate the time you've taken to watch this video. If you're new, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.